This is a momentous day because it's the day I retire my FSA afterburner chain set. I put this chain set on nearly four years ago and it's seen three winters and about 25,000 kilometers of use. The main issue I have now is that this large chain wheel has worn out and needs replacing. Now I would like to have kept this chain set but unfortunately I can't find a chain wheel that will act as a replacement mainly because this is a fairly non-standard fitting with three point locations on it and I haven't been able to find a replacement chain wheel so I'm going to have to replace the whole crank set. Now it's momentous because I built the whole touring bike around this crank set and I built it around this crank set because it had the gear ratios that I wanted 42 and 27 teeth on the chain rings. However, because I haven't been able to find the replacement chain wheel for this, I'm going to replace the whole thing. This is a BB30 bottom bracket, so in order to fit it, I had to modify the frame slightly. And I have to take that into account when putting the replacement crank set on there, which is basically a standard Shimano type uh, crank set with a 24mm bottom bracket. And this is what I'm going to replace that afterburner crank set with. Comes in this sophisticated newspaper wrapping. As you can see it's got Chinese on it so as you might expect it's come from China. So I've got a forge crank here for taking two chain rings. 175 millimeter with a standard Shimano type 24 millimeter axle on it and obviously this comes with the other crank as you can see it says XT on it this is basically a knockoff of a Shimano XT crank set I also bought a couple of chain wheels I've got a 26 tooth inner here this I got a steel one because it will be a bit more durable than aluminium and this is a 42 tooth aluminium chain ring purportedly made out of 7075 um, I'm not sure that is the case but we shall see quality looks mediocre I would say but we'll see how it lasts now in addition the whole thing came with a bottom bracket as well so the whole lot cost me around about £55 from Aliexpress, which is not bad, I suppose. I've removed the pedals, the chain and the old crank set. I also took the old bottom bracket cups out using the technique shown in the top right and reinstalled the new bottom bracket cups, which you can see here. Again, using that technique that's indicated in the top right of this video. Now I'm ready to put on my new chain set. I can put this in here now. I'll just turn the bike around so you can see what's happening. Tighten this end plug up. Taking out any slack in the system. Now all I need to do is torque these up. Normally these go up to about 12 to 14 Newton meters. So let's have a look at the crank set on the other side and as you can see it rotates beautifully and smoothly.